I am in a room with a god. His presence is intoxicating as his beauty, effervescent, flows across the room with the grace of a butterfly and the impact of a stone, almost like the caress of torrential rain, ethereal yet crashing into me with the weight of a storm. His eyes, so dark that I get lost in them, and so bright that they ignite something within me. But my eyes are glued to the floor. I just cannot look up to him. And though he notices not my presence, I fear eye contact may be my end. Even then, the words which come forth from his mouth, they are an indecipherable, beautiful noise. Each one proceeding with such importance that my heart refuses to beat while he speaks. Each consonant is the earth rumbling beneath me and each vowel a ghost threatening to whisk me away. Every waking thought hangs on his next syllable, every paltry breath awaits his next words. My totality is in his speech, his gospel is my everything. And if he stopped, I believe the world would halt instead, holding its breath, awaiting his next move and possibly cease to exist. Is there a world without his voice? Is that a world I'm willing to live in? If my eyes wandered, my curiosity resting me, I already know what I would see. Beside him, a goddess. There is no other answer. There is no other way that she could possibly withstand his words or his touch or his kiss. I am in a room with a god, but he already has his goddess.